Anthropoid was the code name of a perilous assassination operation prepared by British Special Operations Executive. The mission had been approved by Czechoslovak government in exile and carried out in Prague on 27th of May 1942. The target was Reinhard Heydrich. Although he had only been wounded in the attack, he died from injuries a week after the operation took place. Who was that man the British were so desperate to kill? Reinhard Heydrich is regarded as one of the darkest figures of the Nazi regime. He was one of the organizers of the Kristallnacht, which was a series of attacks against Jews in 1938. He was an SS officer and one of the main officials responsible for the Holocaust. He joined the SS on 14 July 1931 as an SS man. It was a paramilitary rank used by several Nazi Party paramilitary organizations between 1925 and 1945. Heydrich was appointed every SS rank and, in September 1941, he was finally promoted by Adolf Hitler himself from Major General to Lieutenant General. He was given complete control over part of Czechoslovakia incorporated into Third Reich in 1939. After arriving in Prague, he started his reign of terror, concentrating on fighting resistance to Nazi regime. He earned himself the nickname the Butcher of Prague. It was the night of December 29, 1941. By the light of the half moon, a British bomber, Handley Page Halifax, flew into the Bohemia region. Two Czech secret agents from Army in Exile, Jan Krubis and Joseph Gabchik, along with seven other soldiers, were parachuted from the plane and landed south of the city of Pilsen. Those men were sent with a special mission, codename Anthropoid. The whole operation had been prepared by British Special Operations Executive and it had been approved by the Czechoslovak government in exile. This mission was unique because the Allies were avoiding killing Nazi dignitaries. They did not want to cause German reprisals against civilians. Why did they decide to kill Heydrich? Heydrich was power-hungry. After being appointed Deputy Reich Protector of the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, he started his reign of terror. He was nicknamed the Butcher of Prague, the Blonde Beast, and the Hangman. But there is one more factor, probably the most important. Heydrich was fanatical Nazi, and he suspected Wilhelm Canaris, head of the Abwehr, the German military intelligence service, of planning to overthrow Hitler's regime. In fact, Admiral Canaris was one of the leaders of the Black Orchestra, a secret organization aiming for arresting Hitler and establishing a new government with British support. Heydrich was too dangerous and had to be killed. Probably this was the only chance to protect Canaris in his position. The team that had landed by parachute in order to assassinate Heydrich had found refuge among the Czech resistance where they remained in hiding for six months awaiting the opportunity to attack. The Czech resistance groups were led by President in exile Edvard Benes, residing in London. All the major resistance cells were gathered under the essential leadership of home resistance. Initially, they were planning to kill the Prague butcher on a train, but they had very quickly realized that it was not possible. Gabchik and Cubis were trying to learn Heydrich's daily routine, and at one point, fate smiled on the assailants. The story is truly unbelievable. Heydrich had an antique clock on his desk. Four days before the attack, it broke. A repairman had been called into the Heydrich office in Rakani Castle to fix it. When he arrived, there was no one in the SS General's office. Joseph Novotny, that was the name of the repairman, while repairing the clock, spotted a piece of paper filed with writing. That was Heydrich's itinerary for the 27th of May. For a reason, we don't know, he wadded it into a paper ball and tossed it into the bin. After Novotny's departure, one of the cleaners emptied the bin. She was a member of the resistance, and a few hours later, all discarded documents were being studied by Kabchik and Cubis. They knew exactly where Heydrich will be traveling. There could have been only one decision that had to be to strike. It was the morning of the 27th of May, 1942, when Gabchik and Cubis took up positions in the Prague suburb. Heydrich was very confident, and he was traveling in open-topped Mercedes-Benz without any escort. His car had a unique registration plate, SS3, which was meant to mean he was the third person in Nazi Germany. Only Adolf Hitler and Heinrich Himmler were meant to be more important than him. At 10.30 a.m., the car was approaching the ambush site. Both assassins had submachine guns hidden under the raincoats. There were also two members on resistance positioned around the bend. At 10.32, Gabchik stepped in front of the Heydrich Mercedes. He pulled the trigger, but his Sten gun jammed. 
Heydrich made a wrong decision and ordered the driver to stop. Both Nazis pulled their pistols and started to shoot at Gamchik, but both missed. At the same time, Cubis threw a homemade bomb made from a converted anti-tank mine. It had failed to enter the car, but Heydrichs had been hit by a shrapnel. He initially did not realize what had happened, got out of the car, and even tried to chase Gabchik, but he collapsed very quickly. When driver Klein returned from his chase after first assailant Cubis, Heydrich ordered him to the chase. Gabchik threw his Sten gun and pulled a revolver. He shot Johannes Klein twice in the leg and managed to escape to a safe house. Initially, both Germans were convinced that the assailants had failed. Heydrich was helped by a Czech woman who recognized him. Passersby were stopping cars as no ambulance came. When the first driver, a baker, spotted SS uniform, he had refused to transport Heydrich to the hospital. The next stop car was a delivery van flagged down by a Czech policeman. Heydrich had been taken to the hospital. He was seriously injured and his fate was meant to be decided within the next few hours. Vladimir Snadger was an on-duty doctor in the surgery department and he was the first doctor to see wounded Heydrich. The German doctor, of Professor Dick, was telephoned. When he arrived, he carefully examined the SS man and realized that Heydrich's condition required immediate treatment. Heydrich refused because he wanted a surgeon brought from Berlin to perform the operation. He had finally agreed the leading internist in Prague, Professor Walter Halborm, should perform the surgery. It lasted an hour. The second most important man in the Nazi Germany, Heinrich Himmler, had sent his personal surgeon, Karl Gephardt, from Berlin to look after Heydrich. It had been suggested to Gephardt to use sulfonamide, an antibacterial drug, but Gephardt had refused. Heydrich had developed fever of 38 to 39 degrees Celsius. At one point, his condition was being considered as improving, but after seven days, while eating a meal, he collapsed and went into a coma. He was never to regain consciousness, and Reinhard Heydrich died on 4 June 1942. Septicamia, an infection of the bloodstream, was diagnosed as the official cause of the Butcher of Prague's death. Just two hours after the assassination attempt, Hitler personally ordered an investigation. He also suggested sending SS General Erich von dem bock to Prague, as he was known to be more brutal than Heydrich's. Initially, Hitler wanted to order the murder of 10,000 Czechs. After consultations with Himmler, this idea had been dropped, but German retaliation had been savage. Thousands of Czechs were arrested and at least 13 people lost their lives. Both assailants had gone into hiding, initially with two Prague families, later taking refuge in Karl Borometsky's Orthodox Church. The Germans were unable to discover their location until Karada, a member of the out-distant sabotage group, sold Gabchik and Cubis for 500,000 Reichsmarks and a new identity. He later took a new name, Karl Gerhardt, and became a Gestapo spy, just as had been done after the war ended as Karada was captured and hanged for treason. Germans brought over 700 soldiers equipped with submachine guns, machine guns, and grenades who laid siege to the church. There were only seven members of the assassination team and resistance hiding inside, but the SS troops were unable to take them alive. Three assailants, including Cubis, were killed in the prayer loft. The remaining four decided to commit suicide in the crypt. In order to minimize German retaliation, the Orthodox Bishop of Prague took the blame for what happened in the church. He was arrested and tortured. On 14 September 1942, he and the church priest had been taken to the Prague suburbs and shot by a Nazi firing squad. The assassination of Reinhard Heydrich was a big shock, especially to Hitler himself. Retaliation had been savage. It was the only assassination planned British Special Operations Executive on a Nazi official that had been carried out successfully.